All right, this is going to be not like anything professional, but uh, hopefully it will give you some insight on the streamer view uh, new thingy. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't use bananas, so uh, I just threw some things in here. I got my headphones, uh, my Rift, and uh, speakers on my desk. As you can see, nothing's showing up here at the moment, and that's because you need to rename stuff. And I, the way I'm doing that is by right-clicking. Uh, so this is my mic. Press enter. Now my mic's there. I can control the volume. It's a bit quieter. Uh, I want this at negative five, though. Um, this, for example, could be Discord if you do use a, something like a table, for example. So now Discord will be here. The volume slider connects with that one over there. Um, this I'm not using at the moment, so I'll just turn it off. Um, this column on banana I will usually tell people to use as their game column or desktop audio um, you can see it shows it there so in one in two and then you got virtual in number one virtual in number two uh, we can I'll usually tell people to do I'll usually tell people to do um, Spotify slash uh, their browser for this one since uh, it's fine if they're together because you really never control the volume of them both at the same time because you're not you're not listening to music and watching like a YouTube video at the same time. Um, so yeah, so we can move this slider. It'll connect to that one. Move this slider. Connects with that one. Um, so that is for the input strips. If you want more output buses to show, for at the moment, it, A1 is the only one that shows. Um, I can rename this, so this could be my headphones, because that's what it is. And I'll show headphone. Um, second one, that's my Rift. I'm just going off of what I have up here, by the way. So, A1, 2, 3. Um, that's my Rift. I'll enter that. Oh, enter that. And I got my Rift there. And then my third one's my speakers. I got all three of those showing. I can control all three from the streamer view thing. Um, this at the moment does nothing. Uh, this is just the like the beta, I guess we'll call it. I think this is supposed to come out at the end of October. Um, so yeah, it's out now. You can download it, but it's um, you have to download Potato. So if you're already on Banana or the original one, you, I mean, I would suggest maybe waiting because I mean Banana should fit on your screen anyways. It's mostly for Potato um, if it doesn't fit on your screen because this is resizable. So that's probably the biggest thing that comes with this. Um, maybe wait to the end of October, then um, you get this instead of having to download Potato and then you'll get like all the new drivers that you're not used to anymore because Potato comes with um, extra stuff that you're not used to. So I don't know if you want to start dabbling in that, but yeah. Um, we got B1 and B2. At the moment, you're hearing me through B1. As you can see when I talk, if I turn it off, you can you couldn't hear me anymore. So you're hearing me through B1 at the moment. So let's name B1 as my mic, because um, that's what I'll probably use it for. That's going to be my mic in Discord, everywhere like that. Um, B2, that's another, it's another B1 basically, but just for something else. So B1 could be your microphone in, uh, in Discord, and B2 might, could be your microphone in Zoom or something like that. In my case, I use B2 um, for an app called Shadowplay. It's like a recording software. So I will use Shadowplay, and you'll see that my microphone is going to both B1 and B2, um, which is good because I want my microphone to record in Shadowplay when I like clip something in there. Um, and yeah, so every time I'm adding all these stuff, uh, it adds it to the original uh, inputs up here. So say if I want to turn off B2 for my mic so it doesn't show on Shadowplay anymore, because that's what B2 is, I just click it, and it turns it off right here. I can turn it back on and off and see it's connecting with that. Um, so it's basically just a voice meter, but shoved to the side, and you can remove it around. Um, obviously, it doesn't show every feature over here, but it shows probably the most significant ones you would use while streaming. Hence, streamer view. Um, and yeah, so these will all move together. Um, I don't know about submixing at the moment with Banana. I don't believe you can do that. Um, 
potato is a whole different story. You definitely can do that. You can move individual sliders um, for each, like B1. If you want B2 to be quieter than B1, you can move these like that in potato. But at the moment, this was this is they're all stuck together. A little stuttery, but I think that I think that's just some fine tuning. Not the biggest deal in the world. Um, yeah. So that's banana. Let's just quickly move to potato. I'll pause it here. Okay. So here's potato. Um, I will reset this. Okay, so let's get my mic in here. Let's get the settings back on. Okay, so my mic's working now. Um, probably just going to disable all of these, except for my music, because that's what I want you guys to hear soon. Um, names are staying. Um, you don't really have to worry about this or this. I'm not going to add that stuff. I'm not really caring about that at the moment. And as you can see, Potato is quite the uh, behemoth. Um, let's open up stream review you can see it's got a lot smaller uh, and these are the things that are added in here at the moment uh, I'll delete these real quick so we got A2 we'll select that as we'll select A3 as my speakers on my desk kind of like how we did for um, banana wherever that is so I'll re-add these. So we got headphones. It's already good. Uh, Rift and speakers. Okay. So now we kind of got the same setup as we had. Kind of. Hold on. Close. Desktop. We're on potato now. So we have separation. And I like to separate Spotify here and my browser here. So now we have a total of six um, inputs that we can all see here. Um, yeah, so now we got kind of like the same setup we had, of, we had with banana. Um, but now we have a lot more stuff to play with. We have the slider mode. We have, um, the, I think it's monitor. I think that's what this stands for. Um, but the biggest thing between banana and potato with this now is submixing is a lot easier, I think. Because before submixing, like if you want to hear, um, say, let's say we have this. Say we have a music playing, right? Let's turn this music on. So we got this music playing. And say I want to hear it louder in my ears, but I want you guys to keep hearing it at this volume. I would use the SEL button. Um, so if I want to hear it louder, I would select the SEL button on my headphones and I would turn it up. So now I'm hearing it at this volume, which is pretty loud, but you guys are hearing it here. And this is my mic is combined with it, so it's kind of hard to tell. But yeah, you guys can see it and you guys are hearing it at this volume and I'm hearing it at this volume. That's how submixing would usually work. And then, so obviously I don't want those to stay like that. Um, so I'll just, I have nothing selected and I'll move it around and now it's back to normal. Everything is the same. Also they updated um, pressing the SEL button on the column. So say, see how my mic's coming through. If I press SEL on here, I am now monitoring that audio that's going through B1. So I can tell how loud I'm how loud that audio is I'm sending, which is really nice, especially when submixing, because you want to know what how loud it is uh, without just looking at visuals. So now I actually know exactly how loud it is. Um, so that's how submixing would usually work. But now that stream review is here, I can continue to play that music. And it's probably pretty loud. I'll turn it down. And I'll just use this for this. So um, ABS link will mix them all to the same. That's for A1, A2, A3. Um, oh, and I forgot to add B1. Let's do that. So I'll just label what OBS. That's a volume level. What what OBS hears. So for example, right now is B1 is what OBS hears. So if I turn down um, 
this. It'll turn it down for OBS now since B1's there because I renamed that right here. So it's really quiet for me, everything. If I click this, I no longer hear it because A1's my headphones. If I do this, now you guys can't hear it, but I can still hear it. And that's, I mean, that's pretty common. We're not, I'm not really discussing about that stuff, but so that's ABS link. It'll make, it'll master like all these at the same volume. Relative link, um, that will, hold on. Where was I? Oh yeah. Relative link will, um, so say if I have these on no link, meaning I can do whatever I want with these. Meaning now that this is loud in my headphones, but now it's quieter for you guys. So that's sub mixing right there, and it's super easy, especially with this. So for A2 and A3, I can make those actually muted. But now you guys, you guys are the only one that's able to hear the music because it's going through B1 because that's what OBS hears. Um, so now say I do this. Now if I click, uh, what is this called again? Uh, relative, relative. So relative, if I have it on relative, now when I move this, it's keeping everything the same and it's sticking, kind of. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Elgato software, but they have a they have a feature like that. It's like a little link at the top and you click it and it'll lock these in place. So now these are all moving relative. Um, I don't know if they'll maybe come out with something where these will stick at like zero. That'd be kind of cool. Um, but yeah, and then to get these back to all normal, I'll do ABS link. And now they're all back to normal. So you probably leave it on ABS for the most of the time, just so then you're not moving a bunch of stuff around. Um, but yeah, so that's what that does. So that's that's a sub mixing is different now with this um, whole stream review thing. It's really cool actually. Okay, so I just tested this a little bit. Uh, I was looking to figure out what these were doing. Um, basically, they're just mutes. So if I press mute here, uh, it will mute it. It will mute that. Yeah, you know, just like it's an indicator, it's muted. But um, it looks to be like a bug right now. Um, if I mute it from here, it doesn't mute it here. This is obviously the Spotify column. So little bug at the moment but it's to be expected it's just a beta type thing so it'll probably be worked out in the final product um, but it does mute if you mute it from voice meter itself it tells it's muted here but it, this has no connection to the voice meter at the moment um, I think that's about it I mean we got the monitor feature here which is basically just submixing using the original uh, SEL um, a little bit faster for like using it on your output buses uh, instead of clicking this I guess since you'll have this open if you're in stream review you'll probably just kind of roll with this thing and choose your size and all that stuff um, but yeah I believe that is it to explain about what it does um, and we'll see if they add more stuff in the uh, the full version at the end of end of October I believe yeah uh, everything will be linked down below um, as to where you can download this or the new potato that is I'll also link um, the music I was playing it's all copyright free stuff um, yeah and I'll also throw a link to the uh, voice meter discord where you can find me or a lot of other people that are willing to help um, with uh, your issues and stuff so yeah have a good rest of your day and thanks for watching.